Good evening, y'all. Uh, welcome back to the Hammock Mountain channel. Once again, my name is Daniel. And tonight, I'm going to do a top of a stealth camp that I've never done before. And you may see it right back there. But we'll get to that in a little bit. Um, I think I picked the smallest roof in town and I'm right here in the middle of town uh, this place right here if it happens around this town nine times out of ten it's gonna happen right in this area I'm in um, so I'm a little bit earlier than what I want to go into my spot so I'll wait a little bit on that but um, I'm gonna attempt a type of stealth camp that I've never done actually two I'm gonna try to get two birds with one stone or two birds with one stone uh, so I've never done just an actual cowboy camp so I'm gonna attempt that tonight and I've never done a rooftop camp so I'm gonna attempt that tonight let's hope it's not a fail hopefully everything goes through uh, there is no coverage on this roof and there is light everywhere Actually, there's a, there's a big street lamp almost <laughs> right above where I'm going to be. So I'm going to have to definitely lay low. And uh, this town, I don't know how many police officers we've got, but it seems like everyone's on, every one of them is on duty on Friday and Saturday night. And this is Saturday night. So uh, there's a lot of factors at play here. And I will show you later. But the street over here, where I'm going to be, anytime somebody comes down that street, they cross the railroad tracks and their light's shining right dead on where I'm going to be. Uh, so hopefully I can keep my head down enough. There is no coverage there, but hopefully I can keep my head down enough that I can actually pull this off. But let me get out of here and walk to an area where we can get a little bit better view and I'll bring you back. I'll kind of show you around a little bit. All right, we're back. Here's a little bit about our area, uh, or the area that I am camping in. We got a grocery store right here. We've got, right here is the absolute best Chinese in town. Right here. Uh, right there, if you want to get an ATV or dirt bike or lawnmower or something, that's where you go. If you want to get your car washed, go here. If you have a fire, there right there's the people that take care of you at the fire department. Right here, if you want something to eat in the middle of the night, go to Huddle House. If you need tires or brakes or anything automotive, there's a place right there you can go to. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but the biggest church in town is right back there. Then down here you have Wendy's. Uh, Burger King, McDonald's, gas station, dollar store. So, like I said, if it happens around here, this is where it happens. So let's see if we can sneak across here without getting ran over by some of these crazies. and I will show you where I'm gonna be. That's a little bit too early for me to go in there right now, like I said. Uh, okay, here we go. I think I wanna stay out of the way of that one. We're gonna walk back around here. Warning, seatbelt enforcement area. So put your seatbelt on so you don't get in trouble. That little tiny, let's see, 
That little tiny roof right there is where I'm going to camp. Let's walk over and take a look at it. I came over here last night. I didn't have a portable ladder to get up in there. And so I built a ladder and I brought it over here last night and uh, dropped it off, hit it. So let's make sure it's still there. So that's how big the place is. I'll show you how wide it is. It's not very big. It just goes just past that door right there. It may be 12 feet wide. But that little place right there, hopefully, I've still got a ladder in there. And it's still there. And I'm going up through there. And I'm getting right on top. Just not right now. Oh. And there's pharmacy. Forgot to tell you that one. That's where I am. That's what I'm getting into. So I'll bring you back over here to my truck. Too many people milling around right now for me to get up there because everybody be watching. So, see if we can set this up right here. There we go. And Stealth Pepsi. It's not stealth right now because I'm outside in the open. There you go. So I haven't step, set up camp. So this technically is not a step two. Go over a few things here. Make sure I remember it. Okay. This is the April challenge. And... Uh, it's for the Stealth Camping Alliance. So, hashtag Stealth Camping Alliance and hashtag Urban Challenge. And it was put out by Jay and Knight. And I'll put his stuff right through here on the screen. So you can go check out Jay. And while I'm at it, uh, I do want, want to do a couple shout outs. I'm probably going to butcher this name. But the first one is Steps by Kotji. Uh, I'll also put it across right here. And uh, that way you'll know who I'm talking about. Because I probably just butchered the channel name. And uh, she's a stealth camper who is in Belgium. She's kind of new to the Stealth Camping Alliance. So uh, go over, watch some of her stuff, comment, like, subscribe. Uh, show her some Stealth Camping Alliance love and uh, let her know we're glad to have her. The other one is my buddy Mark from McHappy Camper. So I'll put his stuff across here too. So go check out Mark's channel. And uh, it's, he's not just a Stealth Camper. Uh, if you watch many of his videos, you'll probably see him jamming on a guitar. So go check Mark out, McHappy Camper. And let's see if I'm missing anything. No, I think that's it. Jay said, uh, do an urban stealth camp. This is about as urban as I can get. Uh, it's a small town, but I'm right in the middle of it. So this is about as urban as I can get. Everybody's riding by looking at me like I'm crazy, but it'll be all right. Uh, Everybody's a little bit of crazy. It just depends on what your level is. Uh, mine's probably pretty high sometimes. But uh, uh, Jay said it has to be an urban camp and show some night footage and enjoy yourself. Have some fun. Be safe. So he might not, might not have said it exactly that way, but that's what I got out of it. I'm going to wait a little while, let things calm down a little bit, and then we'll see what we get into. Yeah. I know they're not that. Uh, spiders, no. 
I'll kill a spider nice. and their young in front of their mother and father. Well, I'll tell you what, I, I even, they got to I even had a spider action. Yeah. 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 How are you? I'm all right, ma'am. I'm doing good. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Have a good one. patrolling tonight. There's a lot of traffic around this place. All right, I think we're clear for a second. Got my truck parked right here in front. Got Wendy's right there. Let's turn around here and see what we got. All right, I don't know if you can see it. This thing picks up a lot of light, so maybe you can. But I built a ladder. That's it. So we're gonna go up and see how it looks. So bear with me. We'll take a look around. There's not much coverage at all. There's a light right there that shines on this whole place. Just bear with me while I climb up and down this ladder and bring my junk up. I'm laying very, very low because just right here on the other side I've got two cops sitting there in the parking lot I still have to bring my sleeping bag up here and roll it out and if I'm gonna make make coffee I have to have my backpack but they're still down on the ground so I'm gonna try to sneak down and grab it and ease it back up here so I'll be back bear with me up there a jacket because it's supposed to get down to uh, between 39 and 41 degrees Fahrenheit tonight all right the coast is kind of clear let's go for it all right and tonight I've got a vintage U.S. military sleeping bag, so it should be good. It's hard doing everything laying down. Oh, oh, oh. It's official. It's cowboy camp. cop just went right across there so in just a little bit they'll be sitting right there that's where they were a while ago let me show you what our situation is 
It's just a sleeping bag in me. Rooftop cowboy camp. And they'll do that all night long. Pull in there and park. I hate the bright headlights flashing across here. Because sooner or later, one of them is going to be somebody I don't want to talk to. Probably these two coming here. Because it's the popo. I just hope they're not coming for me. Well, there went one of them. There goes the other one. I'm gonna get my get my coffee stuff out and uh, there's a lot of cars around here all right I'm gonna get my coffee stuff out and uh, we'll come back and make make a cup no that's not him I brought my O-Lite O-Bulb tonight. Don't think I'll be needing that because you can't even tell when I turn it on and off. Look at that. <laughs> it's bright. So I guess I can put that up. All right. All right, I wanted to tell you about this coffee. Swift Coffee. Uh, Christopher over at Swift Coffee was kind enough to send me some of this to try out. <coughs> Hold on a second. That's the last thing I need to do is have a coffin fit up here. Maybe that's why I needed a light old bulb. Put a little light on that. Okay. So. Swift Coffee. Uh, Christopher over at Swift Coffee was kind enough to send me some of this. And this is the Mainstay Blend. As you can see. Uh, right there. Mainstay Blend. And what this is, it's... Uh, it's instant coffee, but it don't taste instant. What I tried, I liked. But now this may, mainstay, it's a seasonal blend of Latin American and East African coffees. Uh, the taste is cocoa, red fruit, and caramel or caramel, however you want to say it, whatever part of the world you're from. That's Swift Coffee. If you want to try it, then uh, just search it up. At, I think it's swiftcoffee.com or whatever. I'll put a link to it in the description. And uh, it's good coffee. You need to try it. It, like I said, it does not taste like instant coffee, and it's really good coffee. Go online, get you some. Try it. They've got all different packages. So we're going to see if we can get some water going and uh, get some coffee ready. So bear it with me. All right, y'all. Uh, temperature is dropping. It's getting late. Coffee's done. So let's pour a little bit.
Oh yeah. That's just what we was looking for. But I still don't think I'm going to be able to drink it right here. Alright guys, I told you, there's action around here. He got him one. Now that they're busy, let's go drink some coffee. can't see it's kind of dark in here but got my sea to summit collapsible cup and it is full of coffee I'm gonna have to be quiet but anyway it's full of coffee this coffee is absolutely delicious probably my favorite swift coffee so far there's uh, a few more I haven't tried, but so far, this one's my favorite. So, thank you, Chris. Tell you what, as dark as it is in here, I'm really surprised by this uh, little Pocket 3 camera. Low light mode. Pretty good camera. I like it so far. I will bring you back when I'm up there. So, see you in a few. So I've come on here before just to fly the drone and um, because I've changed my phone but what do you do when you're on a stealth camp and you're just passing time you watch urban rats he just put this out today he's on a rooftop in this video and I just happened to click on it I'm on a rooftop here so that's pretty wild great minds think alike so Back to my urban rats. After that, I think I'm. Hold on. Okay. After that, I think I'm gonna go to sleep. Uh, it's getting late. I'm getting sleepy. So as soon as I finish this video, if nothing else happens, then I'm gonna log off and get some shut eye. We got a pretty good moon up there, so we'll go to dreamland. Although, I never dream. So, it's quieting down a whole lot around here now, so hopefully there's nothing else goes on tonight. And... Uh, but then again, you never know with this place. So, if anything interesting happens, I'll bring you back. If not, I'll catch you in the morning. I uh, started to say bright and early, but I'm probably gonna get up before daylight. We'll see how it works. Uh, but I'm gonna finish watching my Urban Rats video, and I'm gonna go to sleep, so. Good night. And anyway, I'm gonna set up this trespass baby, put my bag in and everything, and I'll bring you lot back.
Okay, y'all. My alarm just went off, and it is... I don't know if you can see it, but it is 6... 619, 620. Yeah, 620. It's starting to get light here, so... <sighs> Well, one thing about it, this camp won't be hard to break down. What or not. So that's one in the books. My first rooftop stealth camp and my first cowboy stealth camp. All right, retrieve my camera. They didn't see me, they just turned around facing this way. Here. No, they're leaving. I'll stay right there. I'm gonna take this pack down. I'll be back. See, here I am. I didn't forget you. I'm just half asleep. It took a while. So let's go back down this ladder. I started to say quietly, but there's nothing quiet about this. All right, y'all sit right there. I'm gonna just throw all this stuff in the back of my truck. Yeah, I brought tools to a stealth camp. It is getting really bright out now. I just thought about it. I think I've built another stealth camp gadget. A folding ladder. I'm still not awake, but I'll get right here, out of sight. I'm still not awake, but my camp is down. So I turned around and show you the lay of the land. All right, there's my truck. I'm gonna step out here and turn around. Right there's where my ladder was. Went up right there. And right up there's where I camped out. That worked out pretty good. And leave no trace. Trees are still there. Bushes are still there. So we're all good. Guess what? I'm back in my truck. 
another awesome stealth camp complete and it was very successful and I actually slept all night long I didn't figure I would but I did so now time now time to go home and from the looks of me I need a shower because uh, a roof is pretty dirty so I'm gonna go home and get cleaned up start another day so if you like what you saw you know what to do hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed and uh, make sure you hit the bell notification and choose all so any kind of crazy thing I come up with you'll be notified when it gets aired and uh, like and share all that helps I've uh, got a few more subscribers lately so I'm getting ready to I uh, hear pretty quick I think I'm going to do a giveaway so watch for that and for you to be notified of that you have to be subscribed and you have to watch out for my videos but with that I'm going to leave it with you because I'm going home to get cleaned up and we'll see you on the next one thank you for watching Hammock Mountain goodbye all right I just made it home from a stealth camp so Let's see if my little buddy missed me.